let's start with another main topic of the course which is how we can design syllabus for second language writing this is an introductory module where we will just reflect where i would like you to reflect on your writing learning experiences what you have learned as writers and what you haven't learned and reflection is key reflection helps us see our strengths weaknesses lacks wants and it helps us not to repeat what what went wrong what um what went well so it it helps us see the whole picture in a in a different perspective in a different manner so this is an introductory module and i will go through some key questions which i want you to uh, make part essential part of your training as a teacher as a, as an english language teacher so the first one think about the syllabus that you have been taught writing through the way the writing was presented to you as learners and what you learned through that and what made that course useful and what was the usefulness of that course for your for developing your writing skills by writing skills i mean writing uh, like the first draft the second draft and the final version or revising it uh, incorporating the feedback given so how was your experience so it's important whether you are teaching in a state run pakistani school or in a english medium school that should reflect on your writing practices as students so if if we reflect we can easily put ourselves into the shoes of the students and learn from their experiences and what was missing in that course and what was strong about that course this is key and how what you think was the weakness of that course and what elements do you think to be essential for example from my own personal point of view i would like to say that as language teacher i what i have realized that writing is collaborative uh, between the students and the teachers where multiple multi draft exercise should be channelized should be uh, made essential where students write and send it to the teachers teacher responds then student incorporate those suggestions so this is how keeping in view the socio cultural and educational needs of the students we need to design syllabus which caters to this socio cultural and educational needs and i would like you to think what you have learned as language teacher how was your experience and did it accommodate your socio cultural and educational needs if not why not if yes how and what was the benefit and then reflection helps you see your own journey as language learner and what was the requirements of writing and what was the educational philosophy in that particular institution what makes those features distinct from that of other course and how that course was important so we have different writing courses for different levels tertiary lower level intermediate level and upper uh, upper level so what are the essential components of successful lesson like does it activate the schema does it offer warm up does it provide necessary grammar grammar and vocabulary does it involve students into group work and peer work so these sort of essential components of lesson that you have been through and what activities should be used and what activities shouldn't be used and how we can sequence those activities look sequencing the activities in in a 
learnable manner is important like we shouldn't use those tasks which can challenge or which can demotivate the students rather we should sequence the activities in such a way which can have positive effect on students learning what skills should be practiced by skills i mean uh, writing multiple drafts writing perfect writing for opinion and how to disagree how to compare and contrast how to classify how to argue how to exemplify so different skills how they were they are practiced and how you been through that experience as learner so it's important when you become as uh, become a language teacher you identify the hallmarks of effective classroom instruction and management 